early prophets, the centrals have, which have divided from asters and move apart, the nuclear membrane begins to disintegrate. In lo late prophase, the centroids and asters are on, at opposite poles. The nucleus and nuclear membrane have disappeared. The doubled chromosomes, their centromeres attached to the spindle fibers, line up at mid cell in the metaphase. In early anaphase, the centromeres split. Half the chromosomes move to one pole, half move to the other. In late anaphase, the centrosomes have almost reached their respective poles. The cell membrane begins to pinch at the center. The cell membrane completes construction and telophase, nuclear membranes from around the separated chromosomes. Mitosis completed. There are two cells with the same structures and number of chromosomes as the parent cell. divide and move to opposite poles of the cell. The bilevins duplicate to form tetrads or four chromosome groups. The nuclear membrane disengages, crossing over occurs. Then at phase one, the tetrads attach to spindle fibers, their centrums line up at the mid cell. Early in phase one, the tetrads separate and paired chromatids move along the spindle to their respective centrums. Late in phase one, the chromatids have almost reached their spindle poles. The cell membrane begins to reconstruct. In telophase one, the nuclear membrane encloses the separated chromatids. The cell membrane completes its construction. The first mutant division ends. There are now two cells, each with the same number of chromatids as the parent cell. Prophase two begins. In the second meiotic division, homologous chromosomes do not duplicate, duplicate but merely separate. In metaphase two, the chromatids line up at mid cell. The centroids and asters are poles. A spindle is formed. In anaphase two, the now separated chromatids approach their respective poles. The cell membrane begins to reconstruct. Telophase two has been completed. There are now four cells, each with half the number of chromosomes as the parent cell. 